Hello guys, so today I will explain you about uh, uh, what is TensorFlow and uh, how you can uh, perform the basic uh, uh, basic tutorial of uh, say hello TensorFlow how you can print hello TensorFlow in uh, using the TensorFlow framework in Python so I hope you have you already have Python and uh, you also have the Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is not uh, necessary for this, but I am using Jupyter Notebook for this tutorial. Uh, if you have Python, you can run the same code in your Python uh, console as well. I also hope that you have already installed the TensorFlow. If not, then you can install uh, this TensorFlow it depends on whether you are on windows mac or linux so you can uh, install that depending on your operating system in windows if you are in windows you from the con from your control this terminal you can write just pip install tensor tensorflow and just hit enter once you hit enter it will be installed and you are ready to use this tensorflow once it is installed you can in your python console you can just write import tensorflow as tf if it runs without errors you should be sure that your tensorflow is installed correctly else you need to see that what is the error coming and you need to figure it out so once uh, it is installed and you can import it successfully without errors you should be happy enough that you can use tensorflow in in uh, using using this python so i already told that you must be having python and uh, if you have jupyter that is better but that is not required so let's start uh, this by importing the tensorflow let's import it by using import tensorflow stf if you have already used python you must be having numpy pandas matplotlib you can install this because it may be required later but just for this hello tensorflow tutorial that is not required so just import this import tensorflow stf rest i have commented because that is not required right now but that will be required later so let's let's just run everything if let's run everything if you don't have last three that is not required right now but you should install numpy and pandas as well by just going to uh, your terminal and write pip install whatever you want to install say you want to install numpy or you want to install pandas whatever you want to install you just write here and it will be installed hit enter and it will be installed so just write like this import tensorflow stf import numpy as np numpy is for uh, matrix uh, arrays uh, and this is for arrays and manipulation and pandas is for data frame and matplotlib is used for plotting um, so let's uh, select this and then shift enter and then once it is run you can see that it is successfully run and then what you need to write is you you need to first create the session so if you if you are just a beginner and if you don't know anything about this tensorflow i suggest you to go to my channel and uh, see the video on what is tensorflow where i have explained what is tensorflow and uh, once you understand that what is tensorflow you can come back and then just install tensor uh, install tensorflow and python and jupyter whatever it is required here so let's uh, first we need to begin with the session so since the tensorflow is imported as tf you need to write tf dot session and mind it that you need to write with the capital s if you write a small s that will give errors so it a case it is case sensitive so tf dot session 
and then these brackets so you have initialized this session so this is called initialization so ses is equal to tf dot session instead of ses you can write anything that doesn't matter so now we are going into the process of just typing hello world using the tensorflow framework so for that you need to begin with the session and that we have already initialized so also we need to keep in mind that in tensorflow we have uh, data types and the data types are like constant placeholders and variables so we are just beginning right now with the 10 constant and the constant could be numbers and it could be a string or character type so constant could be anything but it is constant in nature so let's uh, let's uh, write tf dot constant and write anything you you can write uh, hello tensorflow so let's let's do this hello tensorflow and then you can use the print function of the python and inside that print function you just write ses dot run run means you are running the session and ses was this session uh, tf dot session and then you are just printing ses dot run that means you are running the session and inside the run you need to give the operation which you are trying to do so operation was just a simple operation and the parameters so so parameters is like abc you just gave it here abc and just write print says dot run abc so you can just write it like this so it is successfully run so this tutorial is complete by just typing this hello tensorflow it was very clear that you just have to write tf dot session your session is initialized and whatever you want to uh, right you just uh, give it by the name tf dot constant write anything that is stored in abc and then you, you need to run the session ses dot run abc okay so now now let's go to the addition and subtraction that is the second step that you need to know say so you have two constant numbers instead of a string you have numbers and you want to add or you want to multiply how you would do let's store two numbers two and five in uh two constants lay say a and b so a is equal to tf dot constant say two and b is equal to tf dot constant say b so now two and five is being stored in the tensorflow framework that is like data so these are like you can say edges a and b are edges and the addition addition operation is then called as the node so a and b are edges which are storing the numbers which is 2 and 5 and the plus operation which is written here inside says dot run a plus b you can see so this plus is the operation and a and b are the edges that is the data so first you need to write a this control enter and then second b is equal to tf dot constant and then initialize the session again says tf dot session and write says dot run a plus b so you have run the says dot run inside that you need to give the edges that is a and b and operation plus so it is very simple you could have written a minus b as well just instead of a plus b you could have written a minus b or you could have written b minus a whatever so the you just need to change the operation and you can change the edges so this is the example of doing the addition in tensorflow so you just give the numbers as constant tf dot constant a and b and then you initialize the session and then run the session now if you want to multiply it then again it is the same procedure write a write b and then says dot run a star b again it is very simple so addition subtraction multiplication division it is just you need to take the constant feed it into uh, the data types these are being edges and the operation is plus minus and division and multiplication and you need to initialize the session and then run it inside the run op you need to give the dictionary 
dictionary i mean to say uh, the parameters and the operation so if if it is very simple oper operations like giving the two numbers and then plus and minus you could write just simple like this if the operation is little different then you need to give it in a different parameter uh, different way but you have to give inside the uh, the sys dot run only so so this is uh, for, from this you you should be uh, this should be enough for you to start with tensorflow and uh, you can do the initial things like addition subtraction multiplication and once this is very clear you can go ahead and, and do different kind of machine learning algorithms which i will be explaining you in the next videos about the linear regression and uh, other machine learning algorithms like k-means and others so please do not forget to like and subscribe if you have liked this video so thanks for watching this video bye bye